you are listening to KSC podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services aspirants in this podcast we are going to talk about integrating data and scaling up the source for the content is hari kishan sharma's article for the indian express the idea of boosting investigative capabilities through technological interventions such as biological sample collection and iris scans in aid of fingerprints has been in the works for several years The government has been digitizing fingerprints since the time the UPA was in power with a plan to integrate all fingerprints available with states and the center into the crime and criminal tracking network system that is CCTNS the national database on crimes and criminals after the Narendra Modi government came to power in 2014 it embarked on a project to integrate iris scans and facial recognition systems too with it In 2018 then National Crime Records Bureau director Ish Kumar said that investigating agencies should be allowed to access the fingerprint data of Aadhaar to identify criminals NCRB is the nodal agency for the implementation of CCTNS However the Aadhaar authority in response issued a statement that under the Aadhaar law its data could not be given to any criminal investigation agency sources in the ministry said it was under these circumstances that the need for a law that would allow authorities to collect and store samples from accused and convicts was deemed necessary Now, talking about the efforts at scaling up the idea of integrating data from new investigation tools was envisaged as a part of phase 2 of CCTNS which aims to connect all police stations across the country with all their crime and criminal data into a central database for real time access to information on criminals the home ministry is working on the integration of the fingerprint database of the central fingerprint bureau and get nist fingerprint image software a technology used by the united states federal bureau of investigation that is fbi to match fingerprints the cfpb currently uses automated fingerprint identification system that is afis also called facts for fingerprinting matching sources said the technology is outdated and the fbi which uses fingerprint data extensively for criminal investigations has long abandoned it the government is also working on scaling up data collection while the fbi has over 4 crore fingerprints in its database the cfpb currently has a database of just over 10 lakh fingerprints the home ministry is working on taking it to 30 lakh fingerprints by connecting the data stored with state fingerprint bureaus the plan is to eventually store all data from crime scene investigations across the country annually close to 50 lakh cases are registered the national informatics center is working on a cloud for its integration is so said the idea is that integration of the fingerprint database face recognition software and iris scans will massively boost the crime investigation capabilities of the police it will also help civilian verifications when needed no one will be able to get away with a fake id a home ministry official said now let's talk about the lessons from the past notably in 2009 india's most wanted terrorist and the operations chief of the indian mujahideen ahmed zarar siddi bappa alias yasin bhatkal was arrested by kolkata police in a case of theft however he was identified as bulla malik based on fake identity documents and was let off after a few days he went on to engineer a series of blasts in pune and mumbai after this until he was apprehended in nepal in 2013 The episode remains a reminder of the importance of CCTNS and the need to integrate the fingerprint database and face recognition in criminal investigations. In the 2013 Bodh Gaya blasts, the NIA had recovered an abandoned Buddhist robe from the blast site and taken DNA samples from it. Later when IM operative Haider Ali was arrested for the blast, his biological samples matched with those collected from the site and he was convicted. So that's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG in the courses and to crack the IELTS exam, visit ksgnet.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksgnet.com.